There are two daily tracking polls out today. The Los Angeles Times has Trump up by four percentage points. Reuters has Clinton up by four. More after-debate scientific polling is due shortly. Internet polling not scientific. More than 80 million people watched the debate in the USA alone. And joining us now from Wisconsin is Donald Trump. Well, first of all, is there anything Hillary Clinton said in the debate that you will use, your campaign will use against her in the weeks ahead? Well, I think possibly so, Bill, but I, I do think that, you know, I really loved the experience of it. It was amazing. I saw the audience was uh, record setting and I just I had a great time. And I know you say the polls weren't scientific, but every single poll that was taken, I won the debate and some of them by a lot. And Google just came out with the first real poll, and it was a big one. And uh, I'm up by two or three points, so that was pretty All good. All right, well, I think. we'll see. You know, they'll and they'll stream in the, the scientific polls. But what I was getting at, though, is there something that Hillary Clinton said during the 90 minutes that has stuck in your mind. That something said, you know what? We're going to use that. We're going to come after her on that. Anything like that? I think there is, and I'll tell you what really happened during the debate that was very interesting to me. I saw when she's talking and talking about what she's going to do and how she's going to do it and all of this, I realized she's been doing this for 26 to 30 years and nothing ever gets done. Even when she went to the United States Senate representing New York, she said she was going to bring jobs back to New York and it was a disaster. Upstate New York is a total disaster. But as she was talking about the various things and I started to say, wait a minute, Hillary, you've been there for 26 years and you haven't done it why all of a sudden are you going to do it you're not going to do it it's just you're going to get votes and then after the votes it's going to be uh, see you later i'll see you in four years or whatever but that hit me during the debate i think more than any other time okay whether it's health care or child care or any of the things that she talks about bill it's not going to happen, okay? It's just not going to happen. Now, These people talk. I mean, her in particular, she talks and nothing gets done, okay. unless it's for her or her donors. When she was senator of New York, you were friendly with her, though. She and her husband went to your wedding. Uh, we look back. You weren't real critical of Hillary Clinton at the time. Um, did you think she was doing a good job back then? Bill, I was a businessman. I was all over the world. I was doing great. And frankly, I got along with all politicians. It was my job to get along with politicians. I didn't go around criticizing very many of them, almost none of them. Because when you're a businessman, you have to get along with the politicians, both okay. Democrats and I get along with everybody. But in I get your along secret with mind, did I get you along with the Republicans. In your secret mind, did you go, she's screwing up, she's not doing anything back then when she was senator? Well, I didn't focus on it. Like, you know, today I focus on this. I don't even think about my business. I built a great company, a phenomenal company. I don't even think about it. All the right. kids are running it with executives. And, you know, I don't think about it. Now, I think about it. But I always got along with politicians. It was a very important aspect of my okay. business. And, and those of us who know Manhattan know that's true. Now, they're going to come after you, they being the Clinton campaign, on the uh, statement that you made that you were smart for paying as few taxes as you could possibly pay. You know that's going to be in the next debate. It's going to be on campaign ads. Do you have any defense for that right now? No, I didn't say that. What she said is maybe you paid no taxes. I said, well, that would make me very smart. Right. And I have to tell you something. Tax is a big expense. And I would mind paying taxes a lot less if our politicians knew how to spend the money. But they don't. They waste the money. I mean, they don't know what they're doing with the money. You know, in some cases they do and they have bad motives. But they basically don't know what they're doing bill with the money and whether it goes into the Middle East I see the other day a report came out six trillion dollars six trillion spent on the Middle East we could have rebuilt our country twice and six trillion dollars was spent on the Middle East and where are we go back 15 years if we did nothing we'd be in much better right. shape I'm Hillary now, I'm Hillary Clinton I'm Hillary Clinton in the next debate and I say to you what she said yesterday in North Carolina hey if he's not going to pay any taxes and he thinks that's smart, what does that make us? We pay taxes. Are we stupid? How are you going to answer that? Well, first of all, first of all, I never said I didn't pay taxes. She said, maybe you didn't pay taxes. Right. And I it's said, well, that would make me smart because tax is a big payment. But I think a lot of people say that's the kind of thinking 
that I want running this nation. Okay. Because you look at the way our country is running with, we lose $800 billion a year on trade deals with the world. $800 billion a year, Bill. Who makes these deals? So I think a lot of people, actually, you know, I have two groups. Some people love that statement and other people didn't. But the fact is that I think people are looking at it like maybe that's the kind of person we need. Hey, look, I built a great company. A shrewd business, I have a tremendous, I, I have a tremendous, you know, I, I have right. a tremendous record. I got some more questions. And to be honest with you, I, yeah, but I think that's the kind of thinking we need in our country. Okay. Now, the other avenue they're going to come after you is the women card, all right? And they're going to say that you're a mean guy and you don't respect women. Do you have anything further to say on this Miss Universe thing? No, not much. I mean, look, I hardly know this person. This is a person 20 years ago. Uh, she wasn't a successful, uh, uh, you know, I sold the Miss Universe contest at a, you know, for a tremendous price about, you know, six months ago. Uh, worked out great. So I don't have anything to do with it anymore, but I really enjoyed it when I had it. But this is a, a person, Bill, that was the first one under my ownership. She did not do well. She had a lot of difficulties. And, you know, they wanted to fire her. The company itself wanted to fire her. I saved her job. I'll bet you if, I, if you put up and added up all the time I spoke to her, it was probably less than five minutes. I mean, I, I, wasn't in, I, I had nothing to do with this person, but they wanted to fire her. I saved her job because I said, that's going to be ruinous. And I've done that with a number of the young ladies where I saved their job, but the staff itself. And you know what happened? Look what I get out of it. I get nothing. So. A lot of things are coming out about her. I'm not going to say anything. I couldn't care less. But it's somebody I don't know, don't know certainly very well. I saved her job because they wanted to fire her for putting on so much weight. And it is a beauty contest. You know, I mean, say what you want, Bill. I mean, they know what they're getting into. It's a beauty contest. And I said, don't do that. Let her try and lose the weight. All Can right. you imagine I end up in a position like this? So that's the way it is. I really just don't know her. Do you think that was a cheap shot by Secretary Clinton to bring that up? Well, I think it was, and now a lot of things are coming out that I wasn't aware of, like uh, they say that she threatened the life of a judge, and they got involved in all sorts of problems, and some reports just came out 20 minutes ago about her. And, you know, I mean, if that turns out to be true, a lot of the things that are turning out to be perhaps true, I think it's going to make... Hillary look extremely bad. But again, I help somebody, and this is what you get for helping somebody, but I just don't know her. Okay. Do you believe that you have to do better among women, American women, to win the election, or do you believe you have enough support now? Well, I think I'm doing well, and I have been doing well, with, especially with married women. You saw the numbers. I mean, they went way up. Uh, the Google just came out, and it, you know, it has me. It was the first big post-debate poll, and, and uh, we're doing very well. And I think we're doing very well with married women. Now, don't forget, Hillary has spent over $200 million on ads against me. Many of those ads are false. They're vicious, and they're false. And they are vicious, believe me. And with all of that, I guess I'm leading. Would you say I'm leading or at I don't know. Worst, I'll I'm know tied. better on I'll know better on Friday uh, if you're ahead or not. So I mean, we're just you know we're data people here. Now I'm going to hold you no, over. Bill, this you is have a to understand. Hey, Bill, yeah. two hundred million dollars and more has been spent on me. I understand. And I'm Bill, spending very little. We're going to spend some good money, but I mean, you know. I, and by the way. Those ads are largely false. There's so many okay. inaccuracies in those ads. It's, it's really, really now sit tight. a terrible thing. We spoke to Trump campaign manager Kellyanne Conway, who suggested that in the next debate, she wants to see the same Donald Trump who showed up for the beginning of the first debate. Watch. I think if Mr. Trump looks back at the first 30 minutes or so of the debate, he'll see um, some real highlights. His ability to sort of joust and jab with Hillary Clinton. Lieutenant General Michael Flynn is the former director of the Defense Intelligence Agency and a Trump national security advisor. Great to see you, General. Thanks, Thanks for being for, here. Thanks for having me. So the New York Times is reporting that Trump's struggles in the debate are attributable to his inadequate or improper debate prep. And they cite in particular these two, these two retired military generals. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Who, who are just screwing the whole thing up. Is that you? I, that's obviously me is one of them <laughs> and a good friend of mine is the other. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw that and I, I just find that pretty laughable. The uh, preparation that he had, and I think Kellyanne was right on the money, 
that the uh, first 30 to 40 minutes, and I actually timed it while I was sitting in the debate hall there, the first 40 minutes was about the economy, prosperity, you know, tax reform, and I think Donald Trump nailed it. What I really uh, saw at the, at the second half of the debate really was, frankly, the poor judgment on some of the issues that were picked up on by Hillary Clinton, you know, where she brought in the, the you know, the, the um, Miss Universe pageant winner. And I thought that that was, I mean, you know, you look at some of the things that have come out about, about this uh, young lady, you know, in the even last. Even though this woman but, has some troubles, but even though this Miss Universe has some troubles, all of his, com his comments about her waiter on camera, not just, those specific yeah. ones, but many I mean, others. It just shows the bad judgment. But the other thing is, I, you know, had I been in Lester Holt's seat, I would have asked much tougher questions, and I would have focused on the three themes, which was, you know, the direction of the country, uh, prosperity, mm -hmm. and I think uh, security, security, American security, yeah. and none of that was talked about for almost. You know, almost an hour. So. Okay, but you know, as the candidate, you got to be able to get in the stuff that you want to get in and yeah, get away and I, from the yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's right. So what? Right. Are you still on the so debate prep team? So divert or pivot? Yeah. All right. So divert what's going to happen differently? To, uh, what's, well, what I, is I, happening differently? Yeah, I think now that. And the next well, one? I think that Donald Trump is still out. We were up in New Hampshire today, actually. So your laydown of all the uh, the polls that he's and the momentum that the Trump, the entire Trump campaign team has he's looking right good now, there, feel, and feeling very good, and and the uh, the pitch that he gave up in New Hampshire was superb today. So I think a lot of this is just continuing to show, you know, in the opponent of Hillary Clinton, the bad judgment that she has displayed in, in both foreign policy and even here as a senator of the state of New York, where she, I mean, I don't know what accomplishments she has here, really none. In fact, the loss of, I, get, I understand, a couple of hundred thousand jobs out of New York. So, so she has really no good things to sort of put, sink her teeth into in terms of accomplishments. Her judgment and, this, and some of the issues that she has been involved in from her judgment of using a server, a private server at her home where she well, placed national security. Because I mean, you, you must things. have, he must, yeah. he knew these things before yep. the first debate. Yep. So and what, I think, I think what will one, change? I mean, like he just needs yeah, to be Well, one of the things that I think that, that, you know, he, he came across, I, I actually thought that he won the debate. I mean, hands down won the debate. I think that we didn't do a good enough job probably spinning it after all the, all the spin stuff that happens. And I think that the mainstream media actually did... Uh, they did sort of their job of making sure for the, le the, next, the last couple of days talking up about how Hillary Clinton did and how Donald Trump, you know, didn't do. So, uh, you know, I really look at this thing and I say, hey, look, I think that Donald Trump won that debate the other night. And I think, I, I believe, and, and you, you know, you can do all the scientific polling and, and I'm not, I'm not a, a pollster, but what I saw and the people that I've been talking to and what I, and I pay very close attention to the sort of the information domain, and there are an awful lot of people that are looking at Donald Trump in a much different way and saying, this is a guy that I can, I can see as the President of the United States or the Commander in Chief. And frankly, the judgment and the decisions that Hillary Clinton has made have been just absolutely poor. To the campaign trail now, Donald Trump is trying to generate enthusiasm and campaign cash as he works crowds in New Hampshire and donors in New York City today. But while the Republican nominee tries to get out his plan for moving the country forward, he continues to defend his management of a situation years ago. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron is with the Trump campaign tonight in Manchester, New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, where he won his first ever political primary and polls show Hillary Clinton ahead, Donald Trump renewed his post-debate attack on Clinton corruption and scandal fatigue. She put the office of Secretary of State up for sale. And if she ever got the chance, she'd put the Oval Office up for sale, too. Following Clinton's debate slam on Trump for calling the 1996 Miss Universe, who's now part of the Clinton campaign, Miss Piggy, because she gained weight, and Miss Housekeeping for being Latina, no, Trump fed the firestorm again last night. I saved her job because they wanted to fire her for putting on so much weight and it is a beauty contest you know I mean say what you are Bill I mean they know what they're getting into it's a beauty contest Missouri Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill a Clinton surrogate fat shamed Trump tweeting quote the D women senators have talked and we're concerned about Donald's weight campaign stress we think a public daily weigh-in is called for during his appearance on Dr. Oz's show earlier this month Trump acknowledged he'd like to lose 10 to 15 pounds in 2012 Trump wanted to fire women who weren't pretty at his Trump National Golf Club in Rancho Palos Verdes California 
California, according to employees and court documents obtained by the LA Times. Trump Corporation officials call the allegations meritless. Trump knows he trails among women and minorities in the polls. He was courting Cuban Americans in Miami's Little Havana earlier this week. Back in 1998, just before his brief first run at the White House on the Reform Party ticket, Trump hotels and casino resorts paid consultants nearly $70,000, according to Newsweek, to research a potential Trump casino in Cuba, an apparent violation of the U.S. embargo. Traveling in New Hampshire today, Trump denied having ever tried to do business in Cuba, but the Clinton campaign issued a statement saying, quote, this latest report shows once again that Trump will always put his own business interests ahead of the national interest and has no trouble lying about it. Despite his refusal to release his tax returns, Trump says he was misinterpreted in the debate and did not admit to paying no federal income taxes. Well, I never said I didn't pay taxes. She said, maybe you didn't pay taxes. Right. And I it's said, well, that would make me smart because tax is a big payment. But I think a lot of people say that that's the kind of thinking that I want running this nation. Okay. Trump's aides wanted to stop talking about Monday's debate and put it in the past, but he complained about it again today, saying he had to fight the moderator throughout the entire event, and the system is rigged. Brett?